Don Kuhn, head hockey coach at the University of Massachusetts, trying to explain as we go into this uh, project that our team is coming off uh, a rough patch here of, of losing three games in the last eight days. Nothing's going to come without work. No one said any of this was going to be easy. It's not easy for any of us. It's not easy for any of us. So none of us can feel sorry for the situation we're in. We put ourselves here. We'll get ourselves out of this. So we're not in a real good state of affairs here. And our effort today is to focus on first, uh, what needs to be remedied. Second, how we're going to propose to make these remedies fall in place and then address the personnel issue because we're getting a lot of inconsistent play from too many athletes and we need to try to create a better understanding of how we do things, what's expected, and figure out who can give us the consistent performance. He's right around the pile, okay? Mm -hmm. He's coming in for a loose puck. We've got these guys meand off. We okay. all number him. But watch him. Right. Watch what he does. Beautiful, beautiful. And that's, but then, that's a product of what we've been talking about. He took ice. Oh, he took ice. But he, he should have taken it around. He should have taken it earlier. He was but at slow. least, but he's, huh? he, he was, was slow. slow. But he, but you know what? What he ended up doing is backing off. But the what? Is backing off the D. Oh, exactly. But watch him come out of the zone. Watch, just watch. Him. Why is he going to spin that way? I don't. That's what I was telling you. He spun the wrong way. way. He swung the wrong way. Same thing with uh, Why is he doing that? Emerson did the same thing. Yeah. He just opened right up and yeah. faced the middle of the ice. And I'm coming pass. like this here. He doesn't go like that. Yeah, but in, in, in that case there, he could have even hugged the wall. He's a left-handed shot. Stay in the he wall. could have hugged the wall yeah. and taken it that way. When I'm looking at Len. I see him. My eyes never come off him. I just turn right here. Yeah. We, we spend uh, approximately an hour to as much as two hours in any given day talking about what our immediate concerns are, what the remedies for these concerns will be, and how that will work into our practice time. Strong side play, weak side play, so both situations come up, but the, but the forward, the defensive forward in the middle of the rink, we've got to talk to him about reads and so get him to skate those routes that we're looking for, both short and long. Nice play, all right, good luck, good luck. M, you've got to get over the puck. You can't just take a wild swing at it. I'd rather have you eat it and work it down the wall, body, 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 and use the glass. Uh, a Tuesday and a Wednesday are usually big time compete days where battles are really critical. Uh, the defensive zone is, is certainly emphasized. Different types of situations that arise in game are, are, tr are put into, into play, uh, small games, that type of activity. While you do that, though, you can't be ignoring the big piece of you know, power play, penalty kill, systems work. So we have to integrate that into the theme of, let's say, defense and tight area battles. Uh, we're going to do a couple of uh, situations. We're going to do a one-on-one -on -one drill. Canadian Olympic one-on-one. And, -on -one. and then we're going to go to the Michigan Tech. Michigan Tech two-on-two. Two. Two. Yep. Okay. So we're all set with that Canadian Olympic. Set it up, Q. Yep. Defense standing right here in the red line. Forwards coming off the wall inside the blue line. As soon as the puck gets across the blue line, then you can accelerate backwards one-on-one. -on -one. Going both it's ways. About, it's all about playing their speed. And the thing that we need to work on that we saw, we'll work on in a skating drill at the end of practice, is defense. You're, you're squaring up as best you can, at least off a shoulder. And we're pivoting and skating. The St. John's drill is, is a drill that is based off regrouping or quick counter. 
And what we were talking about during our session was adding a different component to the quick counter and making sure that the language that we use when we speak to these players and teach these players is consistent with the language we've used previously. We don't want them to think that this is a whole new proposition. There are a couple of adjustments we're making, but it's not a whole new proposition in theory. So we, I was really concerned about the language so that it didn't seem like that all of a sudden we were changing our strategy. Our strategy is still pretty much the same. We want to we want to take as much ice as quickly as possible based on the defense. And we're, we're possessing the puck at this point. Now it's a question of whether we go into a regrouping type of phase that's a little bit more deliberate than a quick counter phase, which is moving the puck north as quickly as we possibly can, making sure we have support and we have speed in the process. So that, that's something we're going to drill uh, pretty thoroughly today. Gets ice, boom, this guy here gets across, and you're gone. Okay, so here's... Then you go from the other end. Yeah, I, oh, you can absolutely do that. The, you might run into some issues with some chips and stuff, guys being in the way, but that's absolutely okay. do that. Well, you can put them back further. Put them right back in the goal line. Just like... You know, it just elongates the drill and the reps you get through them, but that's perfect. My that's interest perfect. here, okay, this is good. This is this, and this isn't so different. We play D to D chip. We used to call it blades. My interest here is that these guys understand the application of this drill, and that we name it appropriately, so that when we say in a game what we once used to say was D to D chip, and the guy wouldn't get to the dot, he'd get like a a stick and a half off the wall, and we'd place the stick on the outside, and we go D to D to that stick, always chip. Mm -hmm. Let's appropriately name this, and then so when we say in a game, hey, we're, we're, we're getting away from, you know, D to D across the rink, weak side, we're going to play D to D chip or D to D, whatever we're going to name this. We want it to be resonate with them in terms of using that strategy in a game. We go, when we play St. John's, we have a sequence of different, different uh, regroups that we use, okay? And the regroups go D to D, find the center, D to D, hinge, give it back to the weak side forward, D to D, all the way across to the forward. And then sometimes we play D to D, chip, all right? We want to be able to add one piece to this, which is a little bit more of a quick counter, which gives you the option to make some plays. And we're going to call it D to D post flood. Okay? And the plays you can show them what you okay. want, them, want them to do here. All right, we're just building on basically what we've just been working on a lot of taking as much ice, presenting yourself, and quickly transitioning the puck, okay? So we'll do the St. John's where we'll have forward, forward, forward. D will start here, okay? You're going to pass the puck a couple times. D's going to back off. In between the blue line and red line, give it to the defenseman, okay? Now, D, you're going to back off to here. And now what we want it to look like, center, let's say, you'll continue to play low and be a good low support. Now, this forward here, we want to kind of have you posting up, presenting yourself just about a stick length or so off the board. Same thing with this forward here, right about here. So we may go D to D, okay, and then we'll send it directly or indirectly, let's go indirect right now, to our post-up guy, okay? Now, we're not just standing there receiving the puck, okay? As a post-up guy, I'm here, as the puck's coming, I skate up towards the puck, okay? I'm moving, then I can chip it off the boards. Now, this guy, what do you think this guy does right here when we're sending up this way? He comes over and floods. He comes over and floods. So we want to send it, go D to D, right up to our post-up guy, chip it, flood, and then our center's gonna come in late, okay, every time. All right, everyone clear on that? Chairman of the board is an all-out battle. There's no real systems work here. It's a competition of will, toughness, strength, grit. And we're gonna put people toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other in a limited amount of space and we're gonna see who is more determined, who's stronger, who literally has the will to win that battle. And uh, we'll, that competition will be an interesting one for sure. Pick a side, pick a side, pick a side. If you pick the wrong side, you skate.
Let's go, let's go. Who the hell wants to win this? Go.